His third block of the game as we come up on a minute and a half remaining. LeBron James. For last vlog, whenever I said that I needed to find my LeBron jersey, um, well, I never ended up finding it, so I borrowed my cousin's. So it's a little small, but I'm also rocking the LeBron shorts. Your call has been. Hey, Grandpa, it's Michael. Um, I was just calling to see if you were home because I was thinking about coming over to power wash your back deck. I was in a bit of a predicament last night because I didn't know whether to watch Game 7 or Game of Thrones. So I watched Game 7, recorded Game of Thrones, and then actually ended up watching the episode twice. I mean, that might have been the greatest episode of television ever. I don't want to say any spoilers though, so I'm not going to. But, speaking of Game of Thrones, should I use Drogon today? I should? You're right. You think you can turn my dad on for like a couple of hours? Yeah. I'm my dad shut our data off, well at least uh, mine and two of my sisters, because we were using like way more than everyone else in the family. But I can't fly the drone without internet connection because it locates where I am through GPS just in case I were to lose it or something, it would come back to me. So I got my dad to turn it back on at least for a couple hours. Well, my grandpa never answered his phone, but I'm just gonna head over there anyway. He's probably there. God, that was so close. A guy just got out of that van, see him? And he walked to that blue building. Imagine if I was landing my drone while he was over there. Pretty, he looks like the owner or something. Oh great, he's eyeing me, I'm getting out of here. Oh my God, I'm dripping sweat. Woo! Okay. So I thought I had a full charged battery. Next thing I know, it's beeping saying low battery is at 10%. And I'm trying to land it whenever I was trying to bring it down to where I took it off from right there by the water. It wouldn't land because there were trees and bushes in the way and stuff and it has sensors built into it so it won't, it won't land because it, it thinks it might hit something. And I was trying to bring it in. One time before whenever I did that and I didn't have much room, I just grabbed the bottom of it and it like will tug against your hand, like really try and pull and get away from you. But then eventually it just turns off after like 
three or four seconds. Well, it wasn't turning off. I let go of it and it shot up into the sky and it's beeping 10 sec 10% battery, 10% battery. So then I ran up the little path to where that building was, where I could land it. And whenever I was bringing it down, did you see how close it got to that pole? Oh my God. That was way too close of a call. Way too close. Always fly on a full battery, note to self. I was just flying the drone and I almost crashed it. Oh, no. What? Is she scared of this thing? Probably. Well, I... Hey! Say hi. Hey. <laughs> All the plants and stuff on this half of the deck and put it on that half of the deck. Power wash this side of the deck. Bring everything on that side of the deck back to this side of the deck and then uh, power wash that side of the deck, then put everything back where it belonged. How many times that you think I just said deck? Many, many. Over under 10. Yeah, yeah. And I am the supervisor. And he's gonna supervise, maybe make me a sandwich and bring me a Coca-Cola or something halfway oh. through. The gasoline spilled. Well, I see the problem as to where it leaked. This is chipped at the top. Not finished. Halfway done. Uh -huh. And I see over my left shoulder my grandpa laying something on the table uh -huh. right next to me. Guess what it is, guys? Guess what it is? Take any guess. Grandpa, I like Coke! <laughs> I'll go to the store right now and get it. Do you think I'll be able to stomach this? Haven't you seen the ads on Pepsi? No, they, they don't have better ads than Coke. Well, they have, they, they... <laughs> oh, take a picture of that. <laughs> I'm turning around while power hosing, and I look in the window, and he's standing there like that. I jumped. That was pretty good. Did you, did I, was that a good reaction? Was it worth it? Oh my god, where did you get that thing? <laughs> That's too much. How's it look, Grandpa? Oh, it's wonderful. It's unbelievable. I got personally victimized by like six cicadas. By what? Like six cicadas. You did? Yeah, it's like they aim for my eyes, I swear. Well, like it's one just coming at me and they nailed it right on target. What? We're gonna go to this little restaurant down the road. I've only been there like once. It's just a little hole in the wall restaurant. I don't know how they managed to stay in business. This place is very country. Yeah. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. yeah. No, I've been here probably once or twice a couple years ago but is it mostly locals who come here yeah. I got the uh, country fried steak <laughs> man that guy in there was a riot he was talking to anyone and everyone tables near and far 
They had the uh, old school ketchup bottles, you know, the glass ketchup bottles. And so I was like hitting the top of it, trying to get the ketchup to come out. And he uh, yelled over to our table and said, son, I can tell you're not from around here because you don't know how to get ketchup out of that bottle. Then by this point, I had already had like a lot of ketchup on my plate. And I was like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. He insisted that I hand him the ketchup and then he was gonna show me how to get it out. It ended up being a really corny joke. You know, it's called Heinz 57 ketchup. So he took the bottle, tilted it on its side, and then said, all right, you tap on the side of the bottle 57 times. And then, I don't know. So I laughed and then, yeah. I was probably the only person in there under 70.